this life cycle method so we all we seen multiple times but uh, we are not tried these things how to use and when it called when it not called like that so first i take class component i just uh, remove everything so here so here we using component will mount so i am going to use this one the class component and put console log okay or put debugger that will help us to easily capture the things component did mount and here also you can put debugger now save it go back to the browser so you can see uh, when we enter the page it it will first it will enter in the component will mount this is the way so uh, this particular life cycle method will help us to uh, which is the first function to initiate which is the first function help uh, initiate uh, which is the first function to initiate to capture the data for the particular component that is uh, life cycle method here we are using component will mount uh, once once the particular component is successfully built uh, it will automatically land into the component did mount so here in this page you can see it will show uh, it should normal customer files uh, if if you are using any kind of apis or dynamic things uh, you know to get it from the other uh, other resources at that time this component will mount trigger then the data is not available for us in the page the component did mount is nothing but once the page is once the page successfully received all the data from the particular source uh, which means actually uh, that component is completely mounted at that time it will enter in the component did mount so when you click uh play then it will go back uh in the component did mount and after that it will directly uh, again it check right so you can see and again you play then finally it will show the component did mount so if we refresh first it will landed in the will mount then it will go to did mount at that time you can see some of the sh shaking uh did in the page so that, that that's the time the component is ready for the mount but it, that component is not completely mounted in the browser so that's the thing and after that you are clicking go again it enter the did mount is there any changes are there or not and after that finally you are clicking it's enter again we can check here so will mount there is nothing available in the browser and and play the, that particular component is mounted and here now it's checking so whether the component is mounted or not and after that this in the second call it check whether the record data is received or not if everything is fine for the particular component then it's uh, it's completed its own job so in this scenario most of the things uh, we can uh, we can use for debugging purpose so whether the, uh, some of the component is not working properly at that time it will show uh, plenty of errors so that's a may, that may be the reason the particular component is not actually mounted in the browser so at that time how to find that right so with the help of uh, component will mount you can check so what are the data we need to get it from the particular resource so whether the data is received or not you can check in the component will mount if you want to debugging after the particular component is mounted at that time you need to use the life cycle method called component did mount right so these are the two methods and the third one is uh, we have component will unmount which means you are you are moving one component to another component at that time it will trigger it will trigger it will trigger and component will unmount that will help us to unsubscribe the data so for example you are you are storing uh, some objects in the state you want to clear everything uh, for the data leaking purpose so at that time this component will unmount help you to clear all the data whatever is stored in the component state or the it will unsubscribe the subscriptions so uh, this kind of uh, use cases we have for component will unmount